What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for Capsule Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, Thanks for all the new subscribers. Uh, thanks for all the love and support to the channel. If you like the book of personal, the information is in the description box below. Love you guys so much. Okay. So the channel message I received was um, child grooming is about to backfire in a huge way. Um, I heard specifically earth sign child and a fire sign child. So you plug it in, how it resonates, some kind of child grooming is about to backfire in a huge way, earth sign child and a fire sign child. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, these are the kind of messages I like to hear, and that's just the damn truth. Child grooming is a 666, it's sick shit is what it is. It's sick shit. Very sick. If you go back and you check, um, like, okay, so the reading I posted with Kyla Henry with Corey Feldman. He talks a little bit about child pedophile industry back when he was a child star. Um, and he has been a huge advocate for exposing child pedophiles in the last years. And that's just the truth. Corey Feldman has. Um, because he was a victim of child grooming and child pedophilia. And that's just the truth. He was a child star, um, Corey Feldman. Anybody doesn't know Corey Feldman, you can Google him. But um, he was very famous as a child. Very famous. But the pedophiles like to do that shit. They like groom the kitties early. And that's some sick shit. That's sick. But I heard some kind of child pedophilia is about to back backfire. And I heard in a huge way a fire sign child and an earth sign child. So um, these children could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, fourth dome, and Hemo, Jupiter, charts. How that resonates and applies, number 36 could be a very significant number in one's life, number 36. It could be a possible age of viewers, why you're connected to or any other significant number. Several, 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 several series of shocking series of chain events are about to occur soon. With these situations, situations at school, Situations with positions of high authority in the school administration. There's a counselor. Situations outside the home. It's about to wake th these people up in a huge way. These kids up in a huge way. The child grooming is about to backfire. There's about to be investigations into homes soon of these children you plug it in how it resonates so um school it sounds like school is about to get involved some kind of counselor or counselor is about to get involved um many shocking series of chain events hold on a second you guys Many shocking series of chain events are going to occur. Uh, I heard school counselor and outside outside the home, basically outside the home, and um, it's going to it's waking about to wake up these people. Out, already has woke up the people um, in the school administration in the school. I'm feeling teachers in the school, staff in the school, um, and counselors so that could be in the school or out, outside the school and it's about to cause several investigations of parents inside these child grooming homes and it's not going to go well for a lot of these situations particularly a stepmother and a karmic father situation and it's not going to go well for several of these situations, particularly one situation that's a stepmother and a karmic father situation. So you plug it in, how it resonates, and it, it's about to start happening soon. Events are about to start occurring in people's lives. They're about to start, and they're about to start taking action. 
Event, it's about to start happening soon. People, events are about to start occurring in people's lives, and they're about to start taking action. So distant horizons, it's futuristic energy, but that's soon energy in this aspect because events are about to start occurring in people's lives. Uh, I'm assuming in the counselor's lives, the administration staff, the school lives, teachers' lives, um, counselors' lives, people outside the home space lives. To where they're going to start taking some action. So you plug it in how it resonates. And if anybody doesn't know who Corey Feldman is, just Google him. He's very famous. And I really look up to him. He's a wonderful class act person. He really is. Courtship and lovers. With false person. And one of these, oh, I can't speak. Somebody doesn't want me to speak on it. Ooh, my throat chakra got blocked. In one of these situations, it, there is a current incest situation. In one of the situations, it was a former incest situation. That is about to be revealed. Someone inside a city knows this information. They're about to make a phone call to somebody else outside their city to another city. It's about to make the wheel move very fast. Okay, somebody knows about an incest situation. Um, so that's in the family. And we're talking about child grooming here. So probably pedophilia incest. And I'm just being serious. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. But somebody inside a city knows about an incest situation involving a child. Because we have child grooming in here, I'm presuming. Um, they've been very false about it. But they're about to make a phone call to, I heard somebody in another city. I'm presuming somebody in a school, in administration, a teacher, or a counselor. Because that's who we're pulling in here. Um, and they're going to uh, reveal it. And then I heard it's going to make the will move fast. And that could be the wake-up call energy of administration in a school, staff in a school, um, teachers in a school, or... Um, or um, counselors is how that resonates because somebody was being false in a city and they withheld the information but they're about to reveal it they're about to reveal it very quickly taking out the trash because there's a trash man somebody's about to take out the trash these incestual perverted pedophiles somebody is being very false but they're about to reveal the information it's somebody in one city to another city and I didn't hear who specifically in the city is going to reveal it to the other person. Only this, only if you are this person, only you know if you're going to do this or not, okay? And if you receive the phone call, only you know if you're going to receive it. But the know if you receive the phone call, they withheld the information for a while. For years! For years. They withheld the information for years. Lovers with courtship is the incest situation. Probably a pedophile incest relationship. One of these, there's two of them in the universe. One of them is not currently going on anymore. One um, is. The courtship with the lovers. That's incest. And probably a pedophile incest situation. One of these parents is withholding important basic needs for a child unless they do them sexual favors. It's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Oh my God, that's sick as hell. That is sick as hell. Okay, I heard uh, one of these uh, parents, so-called parents, that's not really a parent. I can't even, it disgusts me. It turns my stomach so bad pulling this energy in because it's so sick. I heard one of these so-called parents, I can't even call them parent. they're a so-called parent. This is child abuse, and I hope their ass gets exposed by the counselors and the teachers, and I hope they get arrested, and I hope they never get out, and I'm serious. I heard one of these so-called um, parents is withholding basic needs from a child, um, so they would do them sexual favors, so they're abusing them, basically. That's the truth. If you withhold basic 
human needs back from a child strictly for sexual favors, that is child abuse. If anybody needs to hear that. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Now, basic needs. I'm thinking food, water, or shelter, or something of that nature. Or clothes. Food, water, shelter, or clothes. That is sick, or shoes, or something. This is about to seriously backfire on the pedophile. This is about to seriously backfire on the pedophile. So you plug it in how it resonates. So it's about to seriously backfire on the pedophile, and it should, because this is sick shit. Distant horizons with coffin with message of concern. 36, 19, or 14 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 36, 19, or 14. One of these children is having severe suicidal ideation. Severe. They are being severely abused. Many shocking series of shame events are about to occur. Divine guidance here. Divine intervention. One of these children is about to get out of this home. It looks nice on the outside, but very abusive on the inside. It is a teenage child. And one of these one of these children has a sibling. They're about to be removed. Okay, so you plug it. Well, good. It sounds like the cops or CPS is actually about to do the right thing here. Okay, so one of these children. Okay, so uh, a pedophile parent is withholding basic human needs from a child for sexual favors for incest so blackmailing a child for sex or sexual favors which is sick that is i hope they never get out of prison and i'm just being serious that is so sick and as a parent that really really turns my stomach in a huge ass way and i'm just being for real but one of them uh okay so one of them has is having severe suicidal ideation. It's probably the one that's being blackmailed for sexual favors, I'm presuming. Because that's, I mean, adult, if an adult gets blackmailed for sexual favors, that's mentally abusive. Imagine a child. They're still, their brain is still developing and growing. They're still growing. And then, the, then they have the stress of being blackmailed. Oh, I can't eat if I don't give my daddy a BJ. I mean, how sick is that shit? And that's just the truth. So I heard uh, soon, uh, they're having, it sounds like now, now in the universe, they're having suicidal ide ideations. And I heard divine interventions about to come into play. Divine guidance, divine intervention. Basically, it's about to happen in the universe. It's about to remove the children, the child from the home. And in one of these situations, they have a sibling. And I heard both of them are going to be removed. And they should be. This is about to happen soon. Severe divine intervention here. This is about to happen soon. Severe divine intervention here. So it's about to happen soon. Severe divine intervention soon because I'm feeling with the message of concern and the death because if they're having suicidal ideations and it's the same one that's being blackmailed for basic human needs to give daddy or mama sexual favors or a stepmama because we're pulling in a stepmom in here. Um, it's because there, somebody might be fearing they're going to kill themselves. Message of concern with coffin is what I'm feeling. Um, but it should have never got to that, if anybody needs to hear that. It should have never got to that. And that's just the truth. If anybody needs to hear that, please do your jobs, mandatory reporters. Please do your jobs. As a mandatory reporter to another one, which I'm not currently employed. But, nor do I want to be out in that bullshit. And that's just the truth. I know how my, I know how my community is. And they aren't upright. And that's just the damn truth. If there's a child having suicidal ideations, report it, mandatory reporters. Do your job, okay? All right. I love you guys. We're done. Namaste.